Hey guys, I especially like talking to you guys on Wednesdays because it's Logos Day and it's been such an important part of my life for my week for a long time. <clears throat> it means a lot to me to think that we are still in some kind of connection even though we can't see each other. I talked last week about this being Holy Week. Uh, tomorrow is Maundy Thursday, also sometimes called Holy Thursday. It's when we remember the day before Jesus died. He asked the disciples to join him for a meal in an upstairs room. And Jesus knew that this was going to be the last supper that he ever had with his disciples, but they didn't know that. He broke the bread, remember, and said, uh, this is my body, which is broken for you. And he held up the cup of wine and said, this is my blood, which is shed for you. And he asked them to keep having this communion forever, remembering him when he was gone. But there was another really important thing he did that night. Do you remember that? He washed the disciples' feet. That was a job that was usually only a job for a really lowly servant. But he did that as an act of humility and service and as a model for us to remember that that's what he wants us to do is to love and serve one another in humility. That's the whole Christian life. That's what it's all about. It's loving him and loving other people. The next day, Friday, we remember the day that Jesus died. It's called Good Friday. And I remember as a child thinking, why in the world is it called good? I think it's a terrible day. Here he was beaten nearly to death and nailed to a cross to die a painful and agonizing death. But now I understand that without Good Friday, also called Holy Friday or Great Friday, we couldn't have Easter which is the most important and glorious day in all of history, when Jesus rose from the dead and conquered sin and death. Yes, he did have to die, but because he lives again, we who believe that he is the Son of God and that he washes our sins away will also get to go to heaven and live forever and ever with him. So I hope you'll be thinking during this Holy Week about the great sacrifice he made for us and have an enormous celebration in your own heart and with your own family on Sunday when we celebrate our risen Lord. I love and miss all of you and hope I get to get, see you soon. Have a glorious, wonderful Easter.